Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Wheel O' Jank. It is Thursday. It is Jank Pack Thursday, but this Jank Pack Thursday is different. Yes, it is. Please gather round, ladies and gentlemen. Get yourself a snack, and I will tell you the tale. Well, it's not really a tale, basically. Uh, it's a simple story. Uh, my brother in Jank, Jank brother in arms, Cole from Cole's Comic Claims, reached out to me, and he said, Hey, how about for Thursday, we do us a little Jank battle? But it's a bit different. He said, we'll randomly pick two packs of jank stuff. We're going to open them. And then the pe we will have the people vote as to who received the jankiest pair of packs. Well, I said, that sounds like a great idea. So what I've got is the wheel o jank is up. We are going to pull two different packs Probably going to have gum in both of them because I've had two weeks where I didn't have to deal with gum. And I will have to say, if there is gum, uh, I'll probably get a drink in between uh, recording this and going over to the couch so I can uh, deal with that. But anyway, we're going to shuffle this up. Uh, shuffle, 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 shuffle. We're going to spin for pack number one, and then I'm going to record it, and then we're going to go over to the couch. So pack number one is, I think I, oh, Back to the Future Part 2. Let me record that. Future 2. All right, so we're going to remove that from the list. We're going to go shuffle, 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 shuffle. And we're going to spin for number two. We already got a pack of Back to the Future 2. And coming in, rather appropriately enough, one of the first ever jank packs that went in the box came from Cole himself. We have a pair of Michigan State, or pack of Michigan State cards coming up. So there you have it. Two packs coming at you. Check this out, then check out Coles, or check out Coles and then check out this one. But either way, let us know who had the jankiest packs of them all. See you over at the couch. All right, Jank Brother Cole, it's time to go digging through the box of jank for our two packs that we randomly picked from the wheel. Oh, jank. It was Back to the Future 2. Uh, Back to the Future 2. Well, that's the stuff I just picked up. Now, the Back to the Future 2 is actually stuff that came in the original thing to go in the box from Cousin Opie. Uh, and, and it's a good thing I... Uh, it's a good thing I grabbed the beverage because there's gum in there. And, of course, there is. Because why wouldn't there be gum in there? No. But at least I knew for a fact the Michigan State one. Whoops didn't but be that as it may there's going to be some gum in our future yoink so oh boy here we go everybody i'm going to start with the michigan state and save the gum because this gum is from what year is this Oh, oh, God, I don't even remember what year this came out. Well, we'll figure it out in a little bit, won't we? <sighs> okay, moving on. We're going the Michigan State trading cards. This is first edition. Is this from the 91 series? Yeah, I think it was the 1991 Collegiate Collection. They did a couple of uh, different ones. Notre Dame, uh, I think Alabama, maybe. LSU? I can't remember, but I know Michigan State was one. And I don't know, uh, $2 off your favorite school's trading card binder. Anyway, I don't know too much about Michigan State. I mean, I'll know players when I see them, but never really was a college athletics fan. But let's get in and see what we got. We got Ben Van Alstein. Basketball, Kevin Willis. Why does that name ring a bell? Maybe. Judd Heathcote. Cole, if you see any of these that you uh, need for a PC, let me know. Here's Mike Eddington. George Perlis. Spartans All-Americans. Who would be on that? Uh, Robert Apisa. Clinton Jones. Trust. I was just going to say, I really hope he was one of the few people that I actually knew. 
Uh, obviously, we can find him here. I think that's him in the background there, Bubba Smith. Yeah, Charles Smith, a.k.a. Bubba Smith. Uh, very, very, very good collegiate football player. May he rest in peace. He's no longer with us. Uh, college Football Hall of Famer, I believe. And uh, a lot of people might know him best as Officer Hightower from the Police Academy series. We got a couple more before we get into the, get into the gum. We got Everett Sonny Grandelius. That was a little stuck. And Steve Jude. So honestly, I got to say, other than uh, Bubba Smith there, I had uh, no clue who any of these guys are. And also Eugene Washington and George Webster, the rover back. God, that was a while ago. And now, this. Open up the glorious wax to reveal gum from... Oh, fun. Oh, what year is this from? 1989. Well, at least we almost made it. We almost made it to the 90s. Well, uh, okay. Eh, what can you do? All right, so we've had 76 and 83. I should actually start a database of this. All right, gum from 1989. Hasn't reached that full horrifying crunch potential yet. And tastes less like dry nothingness and more like really stale, you know, those little heart. Oh, never mind. There's the aftertaste. Oh, what are you? Oh, I don't like you. It doesn't like me either. If that doesn't get me to win, then hashtag rigged. Anyway, back to the future, too. Oof. Now I can make it. Nope, I'm not going to pause for a drink. I can make it. All right, so back to the future, too. We got us trapped in the past. We'll show the back of the Marty's note. Turns out to be from the dock. That's right. That was the one when he went back in time to the Old West. It's been a minute since I've seen Back to the Future 2. No, not again. Was that when... Uh, Oh, 19, yeah, the 1955 Doc Brown. I really got to watch two again. I saw one recently, but it's been a while since I've seen two. Doc has his hands full. Man, this gum. I'm telling you. Uh, cafe 80s interior set. Nice looking cafe. We got, where's George McFly? It was Back to the Future 3 when they went back to the Old West. Now I'm, I might be getting my sequels confused. I think I am. Oh, there we go. We got us a sticker, and you know what? That's a cool sticker. I think that sticker wins. With Doc and Marty, we got the mission somehow accomplished, the USA Today. Hoverboard Rampage destroys courthouse. Remember back in the 80s, we were all waiting for that? So yeah, man, we're going to have hoverboards. Nah. Ain't no hoverboards for us. Whew, that was close. Marty McFly, age 47. And the final card, a possible paradox. All paradoxes are possible. Or maybe they're not. That's the paradox. So there you go. That was a double blind, impromptu jank battle with Cole from Cole's Comic Claims. Link to his channel is going to be down below. Uh, check out his jank pack video. And uh, let us know who do you think had the jankiest pack. As much as I want to say it, you rule out the gum as any possible influence. That's more my own stupidity than the jankiness of the pack. Uh, why do I do the things I do? But either way, there you have it. This has been another Jank Pack Thursday. And once again, back to questioning life's decisions. On that note, we will see everybody next time.